Hey friends and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to turn your trash into miniatures. So the first thing we're going to need is some cardboard. You can use any kind of cardboard you have on hand. It can even be brown cardboard. But this one in particular is already white so I won't have to prime it or anything. So it's like free poster board and I was going to throw it away. So I cut them down to size. You can make these for your actual bedroom. You can make them for your dolls. Um, American Girl, Barbie. I'm going to go with Barbie, so I cut them down pretty small. And then I made a cute little painting out of it. So I'm going to show you how I made this painting using Mountain Blue from Apple Barrel. You're also going to need a pink shade. I'm going to use a Diva Pink. Then a black or a dark gray. I'm using Pavement. And a white. So I'm going to be using Snow White for this. And we're going to go ahead and get started. All we need is a flat brush. So starting off with Mountain Blue, I'm just going to drag that across the top. Now with acrylic paints, trying to blend them is a little difficult because they do dry fairly quick. So I'm using the same brush throughout. And that's also going to mix those colors really nicely to give me a really pretty like galaxy sky. So once I have all three of my colors blended on there, I'm going to go in and add some stars. Now to do this, I'm using a toothbrush and I'm just putting a little bit of paint on it and then I'm just going to flick the paintbrush bristles and have them kind of splash onto the painting. Now that your stars are done, you can go in and draw whatever you like on here. Um, you could do some cool little planets, but I decided to go with a mountainscape. And I wanted it to look like a silhouette in the distance. I also got inspiration for this off of an art YouTube channel who does like these amazing paintings all the time. So I'm going to link them below. They will definitely help you learn how to make some really cool paintings. Also, I did want to add in one more painting and we're going to need jack-o'-lantern orange. Um, also by Apple Barrel. So I'm going to go in with our Diva Pink first, and I'm just going to do it exactly the same way as I did the first one, blending those colors down. I'm using the white now, and then we're going to transition to orange, and I really want to do like a desert type scene. So that's what I'm going to do here. I believe I saw this one on that same art YouTube channel, but I could be wrong. I know I saw it somewhere, and I got the inspiration, and I just remembered it in my head, so... Way to go for memory. Now I'm picking up some of the pavement color and you can also use black here. What I'm gonna do is make some cactus silhouettes. Um, they didn't come out too grand, but I was having fun. I didn't look at any reference photo while I was doing this. This was all from memory. So I think I did pretty darn good to do this from memory. Um, but if you don't have doll rooms or anything like that, you can definitely make these for your home, your living room, your bedroom, or even as little tags for gifts. And here are the paintings once they've dried. I think they came out beautiful and they're going to look awesome in a doll room. For this next DIY, I really wanted to use up some bottle caps. And I really wanted to make dolls cereal. So I have some water bottle caps. I even have this cap from a medicine bottle and a regular doll bowl. So I'm going to be using foam beads for my cereal. And I'm going to use resin as my base. So I have some Mod Podge resin, which is the one-to-one -one ratio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by adding my resin, making sure that I get the correct amount of each. And I'm going to stir the crap out of it because with resin, you have to really stir the stuff for around two minutes. So I went ahead and did that. And then I got the bright idea to add paint. So I'm using Mod Podge Snow White and I'm mixing that in the resin, praying to the crafting gods that it's going to work. So I added another dab. I'm trying to get a milk-like color. So I'm just stirring that in. And like I said, I had no idea at this point if this was actually going to work, but I wanted to give it a go. So I'm doing a Barbie size and an AG size cereal. So I'm just adding that resin into the lids and then I'm gonna add my little foam beads. As I was adding in these foam beads, I literally didn't know how many to add. 
Um, this was my first time making cereal. Um, I made plenty other things with resin, but not cereal. So I think I probably should have added way less of the foam beads, but I think it still looks really cute. Um, and it's going to be super adorable with the dolls. So here is what the cereal looks like before it dries. And we're going to check it in 24 hours. Okay, so it's been 24 hours and it's finally done. Oh, it came out so cute, guys. I'm so proud of it. I'm glad that paint actually works with resin for one. So that opens up so many possibilities. Um, so here is the doll size cereal for Barbie. It looks like Captain Crunch Berries. I love it. And I actually should have added more white, but that's okay. We learned for next time. And then here is the AG one. So really, really cute. I do need to make spoons, but hey, we recycled today and it was super fun. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon with another video.